you know, on my last video, a lot of people, you know, got angry with me, you know, because they accused me of stirring up, you know, drama between the group. They accused me of making false reporting and false information. And I, I, I read the comments. I didn't go out there and I didn't make a video right away. And I know this video, people going to say, oh, you're making up false reports again. Because if you read everything, you will understand. People don't read everything. They just see a, a, a title and don't read that there's a question mark after the thing. After what was said. Okay. Now, it has been reported that New Edition has had issues after the tour. We don't know why there's been issues, but, you know, this is what was hinted at. And this was, you know, from the Atlanta Black Star Constitution. I'm going to read a couple of sources because I know how, what people are going to say. I'm making stuff up. So I'm going to read the sources and they're reputable sources, you know, reputable sources. So here it goes. This is from the Atlanta Black Star. It says, After Mike Bivens hinted at Strife, New Edition announces they're going on tour under a new name without Johnny Gill and Ralph Tresman. Now, here it goes. It says, New Edition is hitting the road this summer as promised, but not all members will be going on tour. A new flyer promoted by several members reveals Ronnie DeVoe, Bobby Brown, Ricky Bell, Michael Benz will perform under the name RBRM. During the national tour beginning May 18th in Atlanta, the group name stems from its first initials of the quartet's names. And it says, come holla at your boys, hashtag Boston Bread. DeVoe, Brown, and Bell included on the caption, of the flyer promoter on their respective Instagrams, notably Johnny Gill and Ralph Tresman, who own the trademark of the name New Edition, are absent from the promo. According to Boombox, Gill and Tresman have allegedly, again, allegedly refused to add their group members to the trademark, and so they cannot tour as New Edition without them. New Edition has long promised they'd be going on tour ever since their show-stopping reunion performance at the 2017 BAET Awards where they were honored with a Lifetime Achievement Trophy. And however, just weeks ago, a week ago, Bivens went on Instagram and hinted at some tension among the group members, indicating not everyone would join their next endeavor. And here's what he quotes. We all felt like the victim at times in our long careers, and sometimes it rears its head at the wrong time. And last year was God's time for us to smell our roses and do what we do best, entertain. He said in part, on May 2nd, family business is family business. And y'all know, and I know y'all need answers on why Ish is not going down. The big tour, part four, five, and six, more of the movie, or anything else you do to celebrate you, the fans. I'm on record this morning on behalf of Orchard Park Projects, Boston's founder, Maurice Starr, Candy Girl, and all that have participated and worked for this organization yet. I will do my part and talk and open up communication to get this ish back on track. Ralph, Ricky, Ronnie, Bobby, and Johnny, and Book Payne. With love and honor and respect at the table, God can do his work good, and I'm, and God bless, Mike Bivens. Big fam and his big brothers. So that's what you know. That that's what he said, and a lot of people, you know, were upset about it. And you know, Ricky Bell also made a statement saying nobody was kicked out of New Edition. He, this is what Ricky Bell said. Nobody is kicked out of New Edition. Those days are long and gone. But then you have, you know, and this is what people do. You have internet speculation saying that people were kicked out of the group or they don't like each other or Ralph Tresman's bitter. We don't know what's going on. So, you know, I w and we haven't heard from Johnny and Ralph. We've heard from all the other members. And I would, I mean, 
if I could, I would love to talk to, you know, Ralph or Johnny to see what's going on and get their side of the story. Because a lot of people are speculating that when nobody's saying nothing and nobody, and everybody's quiet, you know, people are going to speculate. So I would love to talk to them to see what's going on and see what can be done to see where this tour could get back on track or possibly make a new album. Because it's really a shame because after the success of the movie, I think it was BT's best, you know, rating ever for a um, movie. And it would be sad to see that after all that, the BET Lifetime Achievement Award, that all that's going to go down to the wayside because they still have their issues. And, you know, it's really a shame. So I would like to either talk to one of them. And if you understand, I've been a fan of New Edition. I listen to everything from Bobby Brown, Bell Biff DeVoe, um, Johnny Gill, Ralph Tresden. I have all their albums up on um, Google Play. So I like all their music. And I can go back to each one of them careers, go back to 83, even when Johnny first did his solo, you know, success. Before New Edition, he's had albums out with State Slash. So I know a lot about the group. I know a lot of songs that should have been good songs, but weren't played on the album. And then I was arguing with somebody on Instagram saying Johnny Gill didn't and Ralph Tresvent didn't have a successful career as Bobby Brown and Bell Biff the Bubble. They each had good careers. They all had number one hits. You know, probably may not be the music you listen to because some people don't like ballads. And Johnny Gill is a old school balladeer that can relate to Stevie Wonder, Teddy Pendergrass. He's got that Teddy Pendergrass voice, but he does have some up tempo songs that were, you know, hit makers in the New Jack Swing era. So, they all had successful careers. Ralph may not have had a bigger career as both of them, but you have to look at his work with New Edition. So he's had a big career, but he's had it with the group because he was the lead singer with the group. So, so let me um read your quote from um, I think it was from Rob the Any historian. He quoted this out. Rookie Bell made it clear on his IG post, nobody is kicked out of New Edition ever again. These are grown men with families. If you don't work, you don't eat. Internet likes to create drama, like you said. And he is always in the building. True fans will always, will always support. Basically, that's what was said from Rob to any historian because he put that up there. So, you know, is there some tension with the group? Yes. And um, and this is coming from WDAS Patty Jackson in Philadelphia. And on WDAS website, they said that Johnny Gill and Ralph Tresvent will be on tour I'm trying to, I'm thinking it'll be in June or May or July. They will be at the delis in Philadelphia. They'll be touring with Keith Sweat. So they, like I said, they are doing their own thing. They are going on tour. They're doing what they got to do. Hopefully they will get it together. Hopefully they will come together as one again. I mean, they've broken up plenty of times. and They've gotten back together. Groups do that. So, you know, I wouldn't be worried about what they've been going through because, they broke it up in 2008. They became the heads of state for a couple of years. Got back together in New Edition. Actually, they toured in 2015, 2016. So, it's just been about not even two years almost. So, you know, I wouldn't be worried about it. I just think, you know, they have issues now. They want to have their own careers. You know, I don't think no one hates each other. They just doing their own thing. And Johnny Gill put up a post. I guess when the Cleveland Cavaliers, he mentioned the group with the Cavaliers. So, you know, I think they he wants to be a part of it. But things have to work out. And in due time, I think they will work out. But RBRM will be going on tour um, this summer. So hopefully, if you want to check that out, you can check that out. But um, tell me what you think about it. Leave comments in the comment section. And please subscribe.